Hey guys, this video is mainly for beginners and I'm going to show you how to do intermittent fasting and actually give you a cheat sheet. It's down below. You can click the link below and print it out. And I actually detail exactly what you do step by step, but I'm just going to summarize it right here. Now, why is intermittent fasting so powerful? Now, when your body fasts, it does something very, very interesting. Certain genetic switches turn on that put your body into repair mode, in healing mode. So your inflammation drops, your brain cells start growing, and it's a survival mechanism because if there's no food around and you're starving, your body has to survive better. You have to think better. You have to, you have to be, not have hunger. And that's with intermittent fasting, your hunger goes away. You don't have cravings anymore, so it makes it a lot easier but your brain cells start to grow. It's very interesting. So your cognitive function improves. So where do we start? We start uh, where most people are at, which is like six meals. And I'm talking, including snacks in that as well. A lot of people are snacking through the day and they snack at night. And unfortunately, they're just eating too frequently. The problem with that is every time you eat, you trigger this hormone called insulin. And now we have high insulin and now we become a pre-diabetic. And there's so many conditions connected to that you don't even want to go down that road. So this is very, very, very bad. Okay. Now the first step is to do three meals a day, no snacks. So at this point, what we want to do is we want to eat correctly. And what I'm going to recommend is something called healthy ketosis. If you click down below, I have a video that will then allow you to download like an acceptable food list. So you can find out what you should eat. Uh, on this program, because you want to combine intermittent fasting with healthy ketosis together. If we do that, we can really uh, get the body healthy. So three meals. And when you eat this certain way, you're, it's going to make it easier because your body's then going to adapt to fat burning. That takes about three to five days to get into that um, mode where you're actually living off your fat. Our bodies have... <laughs> I mean, a skinny person has over 100,000 calories of fat sitting there on their bodies in storage. We only have 1,700 uh, calories of stored sugar. Our bodies were not, on a survival uh, mode, not meant to live off the stored sugar. But that's what people are living off of. And that's why they're so dependent on food. What we want to do is we want you to run off your fat fuel. This is healthy and it should be a primary fuel that you use simply because our bodies have so much of it. So, and when you actually convert to fat burning, which you have to combine intermittent fasting with healthy ketosis, you'll start tapping in the fat. What's going to happen is your, your hunger is going to go way, 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 way down. And here's the rule. If you're not hungry, don't eat. Go as long as you can. Because why would you want to break the fast with eating? Uh, because you're in fat burning. Might as well ride the wave and allow your body to just burn up some of this, this stored reserve or potential energy, we're going to call it. So we go from three meals, no snacks, down to two meals a day. Now, for some people, they need to add more fat to the meal to make it easier to be more satisfied to go longer. As far as your breakfast goes, Usually what's going to happen after about three days, you're not going to be hungry in the morning. So if you're not hungry in the morning, don't eat. Because if you do, it's going to stimulate insulin. And now your sugar is going to come down because insulin pushes the blood sugars down. You're going to end up with lower blood sugar. And that's when you're going to be hungry. So you weren't hungry until you ate. And now you're hungry an hour later. That's what we're trying to avoid. So start to um, eat only if you're hungry. Let's say um, you're hungry now at 10 in the morning and then 11 in the morning until Eventually, you don't even need a breakfast anymore. A lot of people are at two meals a day, okay? And there's a thing called an eating window. It's basically the time between the, uh, these meals right here. So some people, if they have to snack, they'll do it within the eating window, okay? Versus in the fasting period over here. So now, the next step after two meals is to start to push these two meals together closer. So if we push them closer to, let's say, four hours, a four-hour window of eating, that gives us 20 hours of fasting, okay? Now, a lot of times when you actually 
uh, read about intermittent fasting, there's different ratios that people are doing, like uh, 4 to 20, 6 to 18. That basically means the four hour window of eating, 20 hours of fasting, or six hours of eating, 18 hours of fasting, or eight hour window to 16 hours of fasting. So we want to kind of keep improving this, especially if you need to lose weight and you need to improve something in your body, whether it's inflammation, an immune problem, uh, a body organ issue, dementia. Something very interesting happens when you do a six to 18, a six hour window of eating and an 18 hour fast, okay? What happens is you go into autophagy. What is that? It's where the body starts eating up its old damaged protein. It starts to recycle like a self-cleaning oven, cleaning up all the old crap in the body like dead proteins, altered proteins, and uh, damaged mitochondria, and even viruses and bacteria and candida. It starts cleaning all this stuff up. That's when you start to look younger, feel younger. You, you have less stiffness in the body. So this happens at a six hour eating window and 18 hours of fasting. And then when you go to 20 hours, it's gonna be more. Okay, so here you are at a four hour window uh, of eating and a 20 hour fast. So if you wanna take it to the next level, what you do is you just do what's called OMAD. That means one meal a day, okay? A lot of people are doing this. Probably not as many as doing this, but a lot of people are doing this, especially if they're over the age of 50 and their metabolism is slow and they have a thyroid issue and they want to lose weight. Uh, but not even necessarily those people. A lot of uh, men that are actually fit, they do one meal a day, just, they just feel better because you're burning your fat. And what happens when you do that is your body starts conserving nutrients. It starts to retain nutrients. So you're gonna be eating less calories because there's no way you can have the same calories as three meals, but you don't need the nutrients as much anymore because your body's holding on to those nutrients. The same thing with protein. So you're not gonna lose muscle. You're not gonna do anything because you have these enhanced hormonal factors like growth hormone, uh, and you have uh, retention of nutrients. So you eat this one big meal right here, and then you, um, you go for what, 20, I guess 23 hours of fasting. And then some people do prolonged fasting. That's in another video. But the point is that this is a summary of what you're going to do. And you can download the cheat sheet on this that explains in detail step by step. So uh, click down below, download it, print it out, and get started immediately. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?